Hi everybody, welcome. I just got a new program and I thought I'd try it out and do a little test tutorial on drying lips digitally. And whether or not you have this program, I think it'll help you just kind of get some ideas on how to go about um, you know, just sketching some lips and just trying some new things. So right here, I'm just adjusting the colors and trying to um, get a pencil out on the sketch pad. Starting off drying the center of the lips and then kind of shading in the bottom. I'm just kind of going from memory, not memory, just making up lips so I'm not really using a photograph so this may or may not be true to life and um, certainly would help if I would have a photograph but I was just playing around and pressing buttons and just trying out new things. Um, right there you see I have a blending um, tool that I'm using right now, kind of like a, a, to, uh, like a blending stump if you have one of those if you're using a regular sketch. I hit the wrong button there so that's really nothing. And I'm going back in with my pencil, darkening up some areas and going back to my blending tool, blending them in. Again, just as if you're using a pencil, you kind of do the same thing digitally. These programs are great because you really have a lot of options and you can really play around with the, um, the pen pressure and um, just have fun. All right, here I am, looks like I'm shading some more. Getting some depth. And going back in with my pencil. And a lot of times I try to just get a little bit of my um, texture with the lines going, you want it darker in the center and darker around the edges. Just get some of the natural lines that occur on everybody's lips. They're all, everyone's different, so, you know. Just getting some of the shadows underneath the, the lower lip there. And definitely holding my pen with more or pencil with more pressure. Of course it's a digital. So I really I just got this, so I am very much a newbie, just pressing buttons and trying things out. Right, I'm darkening the sides of the lips. Um, just keep going back and forth. And you'll see I keep going back and forth to different areas. I'm not doing one area at a time, I just, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, and just testing it out. And it looks like I'm blending again. You can see down on the lower, the left hand side, whatever is highlighted in blue is the tool that I'm using. And that particular brush is a blending brush. <clears throat> Switching the pen to a darker, or pencil to a darker, like a 6B, just to get some more shading in there. Again, adding some more lines to the lips. You can see it really starting to come to life now. And we're getting some more um, definition. And I'm trying to find the right brush here. I'm going back to the blending just to soften it up a bit so you don't have a whole lot of harsh lines. You really have to get used to it because you see like where I'm smudging, it's pulling up from different areas and I wasn't quite sure if it's exactly what I wanted, but you, know, you just kind of keep forging through just like you would a regular drawing. And I'm sure I'll use it in upcoming portions. If you make a misstep, in the top right you'll see a red arrow. You can go back a step or a couple of steps and that'll remove something. There I go. I hit eraser and it was really, really vibrant and I really didn't want, I wanted it to lighten, but it lightened it too much. So I think I'm going to smudge it back in. Going back to my pencil. She obviously has a very pouty face. <laughs> expression there. It's really getting some more definition there. You could play with this. In total this took me about 30 minutes to do. So I did a time lapse so you can, you know, not have to sit here for 30 minutes. Here I wanted to kind of get the center and I totally got it too dark. So I'm like, all right, now what do I do? Uh, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to smudge it up a bit and see what happens. Okay, I erased it, smudged it some more.
you know, obviously I could have just totally erased it, but I just wanted to try to work with it just to see what this program is capable of or what I'm capable of, you know, solving problems is half of what, you know, art and drawing is about. You know, make it misstep, you, you just figure out how to go back a couple of steps and, you know, fix it. There, I'm getting more of the look that I was trying to get. All right, so I'm opening up a toolbox over here, and that's the Copic Marker Toolbox. I'm going to start with a really, really pale pink to color in the lips. And, you know, don't get hung up too much on the colors, but just know that you want to start with a lighter color first. Oftentimes when I'm painting, I use multiple, multiple colors. And I'm just trying to guess, you know, obviously if I was using a picture, I probably would be more true to life, but I'm just trying to guess where the darker colors would be and try to get some depth into the, the drawing. Using some darker colors on the top and around where the the two lips meet. I'm trying to use a painterly approach for the markers even. I'm not, you know, just going to get short strokes and you know, making it more um, painterly and not so just like a marker stroke would be. And I'm using a blending um, tool here again, just kind of softening some of the edges. And see, here's the thing. <laughs> If you forget what brush you're, you're uh, using, that's exactly what I did. I thought I had a, a marker, but I actually had the blending tool or the eraser. And just trying to get more definition as it comes to life. And just think about how you're, you know, using your um, tools. I'm trying to get some depth, so you can see how I use more of a curved line rather than just straight. And blending those together. Probably more and more realistic. I'm losing some of the pencil marks as I'm doing this, which I really wanted more um, of the shading. So I think I probably down the road I'll probably went back and um, added a little bit more shading. I didn't look how that went. So I went back a step. Trying to get some darkness around the edges, the corners of the lips, rather. And I decided I didn't like this, so you'll see I probably went back a little bit. Yeah. It wasn't quite the look I was going for. Again, I'm kind of new to this, so, you know. To take some trial and error before I perfect it. And here I am. I'm using a pencil now just to kind of go back and get some more of that the texture and the, the shading back in. This is a soft eraser, so I'm just going to try to get some more highlights kind of um, defined again. Even when I'm doing a uh, drawing, I do oftentimes erase and then go back over, erase, go back over. Just try to simulate that with the, the digital tools. You could literally sit here for hours and really develop the, the facial features. <laughs> it's great practice. And here I'm taking uh, a white pencil just to get some highlights and I'm nearing the end of this tutorial. Just went and got some highlights and voila, I think we're done. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to do more. And um, as I perfect this little um, procedure, I'd love to do a class in this. So hopefully you'll join me.